I just saw this on TikTok. I thought it looked freaking beautiful. I like that it's heavy, and I like that I can tell that it's quality. Hey guys, with your help, we can turn the tide against plastic razors. I want you to look at this. I've gathered the top brands in shaving. Let's take a closer look at what's doing the work. All right, let's break that down one more time. All right, look at this. The majority of weight and volume in a blade cartridge is plastic housing. Reminder, every bit of plastic ever made in human history is still in existence today. And that goopy strip? They're designed to wear out quickly, compelling you to change your blade. That's a dirty trick. And finally, here's what's actually doing the shave. This is a pure steel blade. That's what's shaving your hair. Here's what it costs to replace your blade. Now take away the superfluous components. Can you even tell them apart? So what are you actually paying for? That's right, the pivot. Easy, fast shave, right? Convenience. Enter the leaf. We have the pivot. We have the steel blades that will be doing the actual work. So help me pivot the world to a better way to shave. My mission at Leaf is to make using plastic-free razors easy for everybody. Ask me anything. What's up, YouTube? So that video that you just saw, I saw that on TikTok and it blew my freaking mind. Hopefully Leaf is cool with me sharing it because I'm trying to promote their product, man. Um, I went ahead and got it. This is an unboxing. I enjoy this razor. I'm not gonna lie to you. This razor is awesome. So in this unboxing, you know, you see they send you a tin in their kits. So they have kits that they can send you. And I got a gold razor and I also got a matte gray razor and I also got the twig. So this video is going to be a quick unboxing of the razor. And at the very end, if you want to go ahead and just skip to the end, you can do that now. Look at the timestamp below. You can skip to the end and see me using the razor and shaving with it and seeing how I love it. You know, spoiler alert, I love the razor. But again, this is the razor by Leaf. Um, I reached out to them. I said, send me a razor. I want to do it. The links below, it's not sponsored. There's not a referral link or nothing like that. I don't get paid anything if you buy it. I would love to, but if you want to buy it below, you can. It's linked below. Check it out. And this is just my unboxing and review. So the beautiful thing about these razors, they come with the blades, the half blades. Now, the great thing about these half blades is that you actually can buy full blades on Amazon or online or local retailers for pennies on a dollar. I mean, you can buy a pack of 100 or a pack of 50 uh, blades and they're going to cost you, I mean, pennies per shave versus buying a brand new razor. So you buy this razor once and you buy the blades and you're going to be shaving for a long time very cheaply. So right here, we have the matte gray finish version. So I think they have a few other colors. I think they had a rose gold color. I think they had a black one, maybe onyx, but um, I got the, the matte black or matte um, silver here and I got the gold. So like I said, all the same, same build quality, heavy, feels good in your hands. Like it just, it's a great, great razor. All right, last but not least in my unboxing is they did send the twig. Now, once again, these are all categorized as straight razors, but this is a more traditional straight razor, I guess. Um, you know, women and men use both razors, so I don't wanna say this is the women's razor because the women can use the other razors, it doesn't matter. But this one has a shorter handle. You do twist it open to, you see the, the butterfly, um, I don't know, I don't know what you want to call the door, but the door kind of opens up like that and you can put that half blade in there. And I'm going to actually try to use it in a different way than it's designed possibly in the future. But this is the twig. Um, they say it is used for fine spots or to get certain things done. Um, so they sent me that as well. I have not tested that one out, but I will um, here in a second. Um, I don't know if it's just a brick or what it is, but it's so heavy. All right, so as you can see, this is the stand. Um, the beautiful thing about the stand is you can put the razors in either way. I think the silver looks obviously way better because it's a silver stand, obviously. 
um, but I use the gold one only so but they both fit either way either way you can face it they both make it work so this is a quick unboxing of what the razors look like um, you might have saw before me shaving or you might see it after depending how I place and edit this video but this is the unboxing phase and like I said these guys did great these guys and gills did a great job on this uh, this razor and it's really heavy duty and it feels really nice in your hand all right here's the shaving session um, if you're not subscribed guys please subscribe you might have seen some of my videos in the past of me shaving so you know the routine make sure you put a hot towel on your face and get right to it so this next part is going to be about basically me using the razor so if you click the head great if not no big deal this is how you use the razor and how you really enjoy it my normal razor is the harry's as you can see i got plenty of these I actually my wife you know she's good at stocking up on things so i actually have a lot of these damn cartridges that i have to get through but uh, this is my normal go-to razor um it's old trusty I, you know no problem with my razor guys i just saw this on tiktok i thought it looked freaking beautiful i like that it's heavy and i like that i could tell that it's quality so i know there's some people watching this and saying hey I want to get a razor like this so I can save, I mean like this so I can save the planet, not have plastic, you know, throw away all that good stuff. That's cool too, but I ain't gonna lie, the quality on this bad boy is why I kind of got it. And I also have one of these. Now this is just a normal straight razor that you just kind of open up like that. And then you also can just put the blade, oh I do have a blade in there. Um, so this one takes a little skill. I mean, it takes a lot of skill. You got to be at the right angle. It's a little stubby, little you know, handle, and it's not, it's not fun to use. So I've probably used this one time, and I've never used it again. So today, let's see what the shave's like. All right. So the first thing you got to do is untwist this little knob on the back, counterclockwise. And the nice thing is the blades don't just fall out. You, you'll, you'll notice that it's magnetized. So the blades stick in there really nicely. So there's three, there's place for three blades. There's one at the bottom, one in the middle, one at the top. So as you can see here, I'm like trying to figure out how to do this. So I <laughs> tuck the paper, it's already broken half. If you bought new blades that are full, you have to break them in half yourself while they're in the plastic. But the ones they send you are already broken in half, so just be careful because it is a sharp blade. So I just tuck them out and I was like, okay, let me go put these bad boys in here. So the first one took me a second. I'm like, how does this work? So I think when it comes to ease of setting this up, it's going to take you a minute. You're not going to figure it out the first try. I mean, you'll figure it out, but it's not going to be quick by any means. But once you figure out how they fit in the grooves, you see, even then, I think I had that blade wrong. Yeah, I had it wrong. So eventually I figured it out like, okay, let me adjust it a little bit. So there it is, there it is adjusted. I put it down actually into the grooves. Right. So now I love that the blades say, I am not plastic. Again, the whole idea is you're not putting plastic on the environment. All this stuff is fully recyclable and you know, you're know you not you know wasting your money on plastic blades over again. So slide the second one into there, onto that spot. Again, it's magnet ties or whatever. So once you put it on there, it just sticks. Um, once you got the other blade on there, you just close it up and then you just admire it. Look at its craftsmanship. <laughs> and then what you can do is you actually can just um, spin the wheel again on the back to close it all up. So that's what I'm gonna do here. All right, so this is the shaving cream that I use. If you want to grab it, it's great for sensitive skin. I've been using it for many, many years now. All right, there's not too much more to see, guys. Um, you know, you know how to shave if you're watching this video, so it's pretty simple. You know, lather up, uh, do what you got to do to get your lather going, and let's get right to the shave. Oh boy. Now, as you can tell from that first path, it was smooth, it was clean, it felt good. 
So um, I just went ahead and do my shaving routine. Now, as you can see, there are some dark marks and some nicks and scratches on my neck. I ain't got the perfect neck. You got, I'm getting up here in age. You know, it is what it is. But I would have definitely had less nicks and cuts if I would have used this razor a lot earlier in life instead of making the mistakes that I did. Um, so this razor worked out really great in shaving my face. But here is my one issue if I had to have any issue with this razor. As a man who keeps a goatee on his face, um, this razor is not for fine nooks and crannies. You know, yes, it's, if you want to be clean shaven, you're going to shave off of your mustache, your beard, and shave everything, then go for it. But as you can see, I usually rock a goatee. So when I got to that point, I'm like, crap, I can't use it. So I pick up my normal Harry's razor that has a blade on the other side so I can actually line up my um, goatee. So I think the twig that Leaf sent me as well could be used to do that, but I, I didn't know the blade in there. I didn't give it a shot. So I'm gonna try that next time. But if you're like me, you're still gonna need a straight head razor to you know do some fine you know grooming if you wanna keep your goatee a certain way. So I had to do that. Again, must buy product. You have to buy Ted Skin. Please use Ted Skin on your skin after you shave. It's gonna prevent so many razor bumps. As you can see, any bumps and spots you see on my neck are from bumps that when I was like in high school, when I first started shaving. Ever since using Ted Skin, I've had no issue. So that's what I use after my shave, if you cared. Um, also, I recently started using this stuff Egyptian called um, Egyptian Magic. Magic. It is great. I mean, the ingredients are like four or five ingredients. Very simple, all natural, really, really good for your skin. So I've been using that as my aftershave lately. So guys, um, that's basically my shave routine. Uh, and that's basically the product. So if you got some value out of this uh, video, definitely uh, leave a like below. Leave a subscription. I would love to <laughs> see you in my next video. Um, we, we're growing, guys. This channel is moving. I really appreciate it. And also, let me say this. Below, there is a link to the website to buy the razor. Uh, it's not a referral link. They don't have a referral program. I wish they did because I love the razor that much. And I'm going to tell everyone about this razor. Um, but there is a link to just their normal website. Uh, you can buy it for retail. It can be a little pricey. So if you do put your email into their newsletter, I was told that you'll get 10% off. So if you do want to get this razor, make sure you submit your email to their newsletter and that will give you the 10% off coupon. And that's how you can get this razor. Again, thank you for watching guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.